guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh, something in the eye. Right as I started this, great timing. Um, I am on my way out for dinner and wanted to film a week in outfits video for you because it's kind of weird weather, so I'm thinking it might be helpful for that. Um, there's a band coming across the road with a parcel. Is it going to be for me? No. Oh, phew. Um, that, yeah, I thought the weather's kind of weird and we should be having summer, but we're not quite having summer. So I'm just willing to get dressed at the moment, but it's also making me be quite creative with new pieces in my wardrobe and older pieces. So I thought this could be a really great week to do this. And I want to go into more detail with it where possible to talk about how I start planning an outfit and how I end up with the final thing. So hopefully it'll be quite informative. So let's get going because I do need to leave. Okay, so I have on two pairs of shoes with this outfit and this outfit, because I haven't made a decision yet, I'm not going out like this. Uh, this outfit starts with this blazer, which is my Ray sleeveless blazer. I have had this for, I got it just before my birthday in November um, and I feel like I haven't got nearly enough wear out of it. It's kind of a tricky one to style um, and I think it's because it's sleeveless. Like in the winter it's obviously not warm enough. I personally don't like it wearing it with anything that isn't black underneath it because I just think it looks too weird having a different colour of sleeve coming through. And this is the first time I've styled it with something short sleeve. I've always worn it through the winter with that black cashmere jumpers. But I thought I'd try it with something short sleeve. It's a wool blazer, so it's pretty warm, but obviously the fact it's sleeveless makes it perfect for an evening this time of year. So then I have on under it my Uniqlo sleeve, um, Uniqlo, not sleeveless, a Uniqlo men's t-shirt and the reason I like this is because the sleeves are quite big on it so it kind of gives you a nice shape here as opposed to having something really tight or bare arms which I just think my arms would look weird and too thin coming out of this almost because of how big the loop pop the um, holes are here it would just sort of look like it drowns you but not in a nice oversized way in a that's drowning you oversized way but I really like this t-shirt with it. This is one of the best black t-shirts I've ever bought, this Uniqlo one. I wanted to go with some light wash jeans because it is summer after all. So I have on some of my vintage Levi 501s. These are the perfect length. And then obviously I have two different pairs of shoes on here because I kind of wanted to make a point about how much different shoes change an outfit. Now, my Church of Brogues are some of my absolute favourite shoes in my wardrobe. And I can't recommend having a pair of brogues in your wardrobe enough because they completely transform the feel of an outfit and I think it's because of just how manly but how classic they are at the same time. Like I think we can agree with this shoe, this feels like a super androgynous, it plays into the oversizedness in a more masculine way. As opposed to this shoe which is from Charles and Keith which was gifted to me recently as part of a collaboration I did with them over on Instagram. Something way more feminine with so much more of the foot showing, it's obviously a lot more summery too but just the square toe still has a classic style, but definitely makes this more chic, whereas this is more androgynous. So two black leather shoes that literally give the outfit a completely different feel. Um, I always will edge towards the more androgynous feel, and I adore these Church's brogues. Like, just absolutely love them. They're one of my favourite shoes I've ever bought. But as it's summer, I don't know if I should go with the... No, I think I'm going to make the most of the Church's brogues while I can, because... Soon when it gets really hot, like these would be absolute sweat boxes for your feet because they're just leather. So I think I'm going to go for these for now and save the um, save the Charles and Keith shoes for however many more opportunities I'm going to have to wear, have to wear them throughout the summer, which will be so many more. So let me go grab this other church's shoe. So am I sure on this? Oh, I do love how these look with it. It's such a different feel. Such a different feel. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm gonna. Where's my phone? I might text mum and see and see what she thinks. Oh, I also need to set off. Right, taking a mirror selfie and texting my mum so that she can see properly. Um, taken. Texting. Um. Well, guys, my mother has spoken. She says pumps. So I'm going to go with the Charles and Keith pumps. As I was looking at the mirror, I thought they were growing on me more as well. I'm just such a sucker for these church's brogues. But I really hope this has served to like, demonstrate how different one item of an, of an outfit can change it, as in change the overall feel of it. And I think that's a really big thing when you're into oversized 
dressing or oversized tailoring which is very masculine you can really play up on that you can play up on it with sexiness like if i put on a strappy heel with this it would feel really sexy you can play up on it with how androgynous it feels with shoes you can play up with it feeling really effortless with trainers and then also really chic with pumps like and it, footwear is definitely a big part of my outfits every single day and, and it dictates the vibe of it i think um but yeah i'm gonna go with what mum says and it is a nice day it's 20 degrees and not raining so we've got a few rainy days coming up so i'm sure the church sprogues will be here again in the video but we're gonna go with the charles and keith ones right i have matching shoes on now and i've put all my stuff in my handbag taking my vintage dior handbag that i got last year and i have on the pumps i do feel very nice and chic i'm really liking the sleeveless shirt with the oversized um sorry the sleeveless jacket with the oversized t-shirt as well just think it's a really nice combination this bag is one of my favorites i always get confidence on this bag and i really like the length of the strap how you can wear it on one shoulder um, and it just also is really chic because i think it plays in nicely with the with the final shoe choice that we went for but yes this is outfit number one of the week hello guys so Today's outfit isn't quite as exciting as yesterday's, but I really wanted to film my outfit every single day throughout this week. Um, just to sort of show you the pieces that do the most work for me in my wardrobe, even on the days when I'm just like doing nothing, basically. Um, well, not doing nothing, I'm just running errands and things like that today, and it's absolutely chucking it down. So I think when the weather's like this, we all want to dress a bit more lazily. Um, and for me, when the weather's like this, I know I'm not going to get photo of my outfit and um, pissing it down so I will tend to just not necessarily wear something that I'm hoping is really exciting or interesting styling wise for you guys to share on Instagram because I'm not going to share it so the outfit that I have on and um, it starts with the fact I wanted to wear my toe tan leather jacket because at least it's waterproof when it's raining so I started with that this pretty much goes with everything but I have on my redone black t-shirt underneath um, it's pretty muggy today, it's actually been too hot in a leather jacket, because the weather's just grim. Uh, my Chanel belt, I'm going to do a, a video all about accessories soon, but this is one of my absolute best accessory purchases ever. This vintage Chanel belt I got on Vestiaire. I wear it more or less every single day, I wear it so, so much. Um, the jeans that I have on are my weekday Seattle jeans, which I still really love. still love the fit of them, they've held their shirt pretty well. They've given through the knees a little bit, but every time I wash them, which has only been a couple of times, it does make it bounce back, so it hasn't been too much of an issue. And then I've got on some white socks from Muji and my Novesta trainers. These got pretty um, messed up at a festival, so I don't mind wearing them when it's raining. But I would say that if you have these trainers and you wear them in the rain, they, it kind of really ruins them for some reason. It marks them quite badly. So if you have a really box fresh pair, avoid them in the rain. Whereas now, for me, I'm just going for it because I've already kind of exposed them um and yeah that's today's outfit definitely not an interesting one styling wise i wouldn't have thought the bag that i have is my sophie hume bolt bag and um, this is my like most used day-to-day -day bag probably because i can wear it cross body so i like it when i'm going to the supermarket it's not my hands free i've got the small size and it fits a really good amount of stuff in it and um, the only annoying thing is it that you can't zip it up with one hand it's a two-hand job so if you do have your hands full can be a hard one to zip up but other than that i love this bag it was gifted to me but i got so much wear out of it and yes that was today i will be coming back your way with some more interesting outfits i hope tomorrow hey guys i am back with another outfit with my cardigan buttoned up from um, the cardigan is actually where this outfit started it's been relatively nice today so i thought it was perfect weather for a tank top and a cardigan. I've also spent part of the day with it worn over my shoulders. And if I'm doing that look with a cardigan, I always just do up the top button before you put it over your shoulders because um, otherwise it goes a bit cape-like and sits really wide. And you always want the jumper to sit quite straight down your back. Um, and I think the key for doing this is to just literally sling it on and it always looks good. Um, I really, really love this look, yeah, just having a jump over your shoulders. But this particular cardigan is from And of the Stories. This was gifted to me quite a while ago. And I just really like the dark buttons on it. And like I said, it's in perfect weather for a cardigan. So this was the starting point of this outfit. 
and I really like the combination of a tank top with a cardigan. I think because it's something quite skinny and just, I think there's something really sexy about a tank top. Okay, I always feel really, really nice in them. And then having something a bit nanorish over the top is just a really nice, nice combination. This tank top's from Uniqlo. I'm just going to crouch, lunge for you. Um, I bought a couple of these the other day for my holiday next week and they've just got a really nice slight v-neck it's not a really low v-neck but i thought it was really nice with um necklaces like you can see and then my thinking was when i've got a bit of a tan and gold jewelry white tan top will look really lovely um so yeah this is new and then with the jeans are my men's apc jeans as uh, so these i got them in the matching sale and they're men's in a waist 28 and they are a tiny bit big for me but at the moment i really love that look like I like them putting my belt on, which is my vintage Chanel belt, one of my most worn pieces, I think I said this the other day. But I like how you then get a slight bunching up through the crotch. It's kind of unflattering, but I just think it looks really, really great. Um, but they could definitely get these tailored. I changed my mind about that look later down the line. But more than anything, I love the length of them and how straight the leg is on them. I think they're really great. And then I've been wearing these in my Novesta trainers, which have been my most worn ones from Testing Basics. The Superb is worn and I still stand by that, but I haven't worn those as much just because I have their navy blue and I've been wanting to wear white or cream or beige canvas trainers more than any other colour for the past few weeks. So the Superbers haven't been worn that much just because they're not the colour, but um, I do really like these Novesta ones. I think the drawback to them is that they're, they're fully yellow inside and these kind of got a bit, they've gotten a bit better but they got really dirty at festival. Um, so I can't wash them because somebody had already told me that if you wash them all the yellow inside just runs. So that's probably not, I haven't ever tried washing any of my other pairs but I believe you can. I've washed Converse years ago and that was fine but I guess it's a shame you can't wash these ones without them turning pastel yellow. And then for the bag with this look, I've had my Alem bag. This was gifted to me. I have three bags from this brand now. I also have a really big raffia one and a black shearling one. And I think this is my favourite yet. The shape of these bags are brilliant. They're a really, really good size. The only drawback I would say to them is that what makes the shape of them so interesting is this looped handle here that pulls them in like you can see and it can make it hard to get anything big out so if you were someone who carried a long purse i have my camera in here today it's really awkward to get your hand in and out but still it could still get your hand to dip something small out like a phone a bank card or whatever but then if you undo this bit which you can do and then it would just be a top handle bag um if you put too much weight in it the handle just slips through the hole because um, the, the end of it's not quite thick enough to keep it in place so that would be the only design drawback to these bags and I know they're hugely popular so hopefully that information has been helpful but I love this one I love the strap on it I'm taking this on holiday with me tomorrow because I think it's going to be a great holiday bag and um, it has got a few blue marks in it from the denim which I've only just noticed I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but because of the texture on it, it's not like when that happens on a cream flat leather bag, but you can maybe see it there. Yeah, you can definitely see it there a little bit. Um, and that's definitely from wearing it with these, because I had it on like this today, and walking and letting it rub. But yeah, like I said, it takes on holiday. I really, really love it. I've been wearing it most days since they sent me it. This was gifted, if I didn't say that already. Um, and yeah, I love the gold hardware, the colour, everything. It's a great bag. Um, it is kind of heavy before you start, if that's the thing you're concerned about. All the details of that woven, woven detailing um, do make it a little bit heavy before you even put much in it. But I still love it. And yes, that is today's outfit. I'm really liking it. Um, I was at an, an overnight event last night and forgot to bring my vlog camera. But I'm going to just quickly put on now the outfit that I wore last night to show you guys. I've put it on Instagram already, but I really, really liked it and I wanted to talk through like a simple evening outfit that's sort of my go-to. So I'm just going to pop that on now. Okay, guys, this was the evening outfit that I wore and this kind of thing is absolutely my go-to on an evening. Um, so the trousers from Vince, they were a gift. The brand is something that's quite new to me. I'd heard of them, but... And I don't know if they've had a big like rehaul or something, but they were quite a them today. I always thought they were kind of quite a mum brand. 
but went into Selfridges, they invited me in to pick out some pieces and they had so many amazing things. They are expensive though, more expensive than I thought that they were. Um, but these trousers are beautiful, they're beautifully made, um, they have, just the cut of them is great. So I actually really recently tried on another pair of trousers like this, which had the pleats down the front, and realised that with this specific pleating, sometimes the fabric's too stiff, it bunches in a really weird way around the, around the crotch, but these are quite light and flowy in the fabric, so they really don't go too bunched up here and hang in a really flattering way. I find sometimes, especially if they kind of fit a bit tighter in a way that you want them to, so they're flattering through the waist and hip, it then pulls and compromises the pleating, so it just looks really strange. The lighting in here is doing something amazing, I just have to show you. Sorry for this break in what this has been, but how gorgeous is that lighting coming through the trees? Now I just have to take a photo, one second. Honestly, endless distractions. Shot Not From The Street. If you didn't know, I have another Instagram account called Shot Not From The Street. Uh, it's not translating on the phone. Anyway, sorry for that distraction. So yeah, the pleats on these, because it's quite a, a fluid fabric, are really, really flattering. It makes the trousers very flattering overall. They're kind of almost like a carrot shaped, I would say. Slightly tapered down. They're obviously really long in the length. I can wear them in flats and they don't drag on the floor. But with heels, they're exceptionally flattering and leg lengthening. Um, and yeah, I think they'd be great for work. I've been wearing them day to day with like a big white shirt tucked in with jumpers. I've worn them quite a few times actually since I've got them. Um, and I'm also about to put them in my suitcase to come on holiday as well. Um, the t-shirt I have on is the Arquette one that was in Testing Basics. This is a great one for evenings because the fabric's a bit thicker. It just feels slightly more structured and therefore a bit smarter when tucked into something. And then I've had on my Jimmy Choo heels. I love these shoes. I cannot recommend them enough. Excuse me. They also have them in white at the moment. Um, they're so comfy. They go with everything. They're so easy to walk in. They're just such a great heel. They look great with trousers like this and they also look great with bare legs. I like the fact they've got the straps that go up the legs which you can bunch around the ankle or raise up through the leg. They just look really, really great. Um, and yeah, I just thought this was such a me evening outfit because it's still quite masculine, still quite workwear and tailoring inspired, but feels very effortless. It feels quite sexy. Again, you can wear this with a tank top, a cami top, however you want to, but just something really simple, really comfortable that I felt really good in. So I wanted to show you this one as well. Hey you guys, it is the last day of outfits that I'm going to share. Let me move my chair out of the way again so I can stand back a bit more. Um, it's been quite warm in London today actually and it's definitely going to be really warm next week. Not that it matters to me because I'm going to Italy tomorrow morning. Woo! Um, I'm going to film one of these videos in Italy as well as vlog and things. There's going to be lots of summer outfits coming your way. So if it is warm in London, I'll have an outfit inspiration for you as well. Um, or wherever else you might be in the world. Today's outfit has been based around that strange state you've been right before you go on holiday where most of the clothes you want to wear are in a suitcase. Like I said, it's been warm today as well. So all my summer clothes are in a suitcase. So I've put together something that I will also travel in tomorrow to get there. Um, so they're comfy and light and all of those good things. Um, that I've had on today and then yeah, we'll slip on again in the morning for the plane journey. So I really wanted to wear my uh, faithful linen trousers. I haven't worn these since I was filming testing basics. Um, and they're just so comfortable, like I said in that video. Um, and I definitely want to take these away with me on holiday to wear when I was there. I'm not packing any jeans or anything like that, so these felt like a great pair to travel in. Um, and then it's kind of been um, warm, like I said, but also a bit cloudy and overcast. So I had a jumper, I've actually been too hot in it. Um, this is just one of my Everlane jumpers, and I really like the length that it came to with the trousers and everything. I also um, very foolishly went out with a blazer on as well, and then spent the day carrying it around because it was too warm for the blazer. But I did like how it looked, it was just my Arquette blazer. Um, I really, really like this blazer. And I really like it with this outfit. I feel like this could be quite a good workwear look too, maybe. Um, the shoes are also, as in brand new, they came today in the post. 
and they're coming on holiday with me, but I wanted to wear them today to suss out how comfortable they were. And um, they're from Arquette. Um, let me come and show my leg up here. And they're these really nice mid-heeled, strippy strappy, and they've got like a like a like a toe section, which I really like. And I can confirm they are very comfortable. I had my nails on today, so I didn't want to put on a closed toe shoe and ruin them like I always manage to do. But I won't travel in these, I'll travel in some probably my Novesta trainers or something like that. Will be my travelling shoe of choice or just some sort of a canvas trainer. Um, but I really like these, I'm really excited to wear them on holiday and I think they actually look really nice with this whole outfit and kind of work wearish. Um, and then I had my um, Alem bag, which wouldn't necessarily be my bag of choice. I feel like my Sophie Hume or my Dior vintage would look better, but this one is all packed up and ready to go. So you guys know when you're in a rush and you don't want to have to unpack the bag and put it in a new bag. So this was the bag that came with me, but it doesn't look bad with the outfit by any stretch, but I think a black bag would have just looked a bit more chic. Um, but I really like this outfit. Um, so I'm going to wear this exact thing tomorrow, it says I'm not going to take a blazer, put a white t-shirt on under this jumper and then I can pop the jumper over my shoulders when we get to the other end, to the sunshine, on my holiday, um, and like I said, with some trainers. But that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it guys, I really enjoyed filming it actually. Um, links for everything will be in the description box as always, and like I said, I'm going to film one of these next week while I'm away on my holidays, so there's going to be another one coming your way soon. Um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.